I mean, we're now talking about digital service providers rather than just communication service providers. And I do think that that reflects a bit of a revolution that's happening in our industry where we're finding that the younger generations want to communicate with us as communication providers in a way that historically they haven't. You know, they don't really want to talk to us, some of them now. Uh, they want to be able to interact with us on social media. So we need to change how we interact with customers. That's the first thing. The second thing I would say though is let's not fall into the trap of assuming all our customers are that one demographic. Um, I think I was hearing earlier today a statistic that uh, if you look at the number of people who are aged over 65 now, uh, that's half the people that have ever got to that age. Uh, so we have an aging population who actually look at digital slightly differently. So I think we have to think carefully about what we mean as we go through this evolution. One thing is key though, it's all underpinned by lots of great well curated data. The hardest thing for CSPs to become digital service providers is, is really the culture change. Um, when you've spent decades building networks from boxes provided by third parties and doing so very well, uh, adapting to a world of software and cloud and developer ecosystems and, and so on is it's, it's a really difficult cultural shift. And uh, of course a lot of telcos have tried to get into the cloud space by, by, by acquisitions. Mostly those haven't gone well and have been divested. I think if you look at the current, uh, current phase of well, CSPs trying to develop themselves into well, DSPs, uh, it's about breaking the internal silos uh, of fixed and mobile between internet and uh, uh, television uh, and well, B2B even have more, uh, uh, more silos. But once you are able to break those silos and really well, transform yourself into a more customer-centric uh, 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 communication service provider, moving your customer attraction to the digital touch points, I think the fascinating opportunity uh, starts, to, uh, starts to pop up where you will also be able to integrate uh, services with uh, uh, other, uh, other partners uh, and well, move selectively into either the Asian markets or make your end customer bundle, uh, your crop play bundle, more attractive by bundling in different, uh, different services. The biggest challenge to become a digital service provider, I think we have, uh, as I said, uh, an incredible amount of assets. Um, the, 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 the transformation is happening, but it's happening uh, very slowly today. Uh, we are trying to uh, transform uh, a, a set of uh, uh, processes and systems uh, and technologies which have been accumulated over the years. So there's an incredible amount of legacy. Uh, I think what we need to do is to uh, break away from some of these legacy technologies and start fresh wherever possible. Uh, it may not be possible across all the, the various uh, areas, but uh, it is definitely possible and we need to disrupt ourselves to speed up uh, this, uh, this change. Uh, uh, automation is a key component uh, of, uh, of making this happen. We need to take a, an automation first mindset uh, when we build the new capabilities. Taking away where it makes sense uh, the, uh, the, the human element uh, in the administration element aspect of the, the process. Uh, if I think about service delivery as an example, uh, it takes uh, uh, an, a number of weeks to deliver a service. We need to get to a much, much faster delivery to align to the dynamic aspect, um, dynamic aspect of uh, today's economy. Uh, so that's the key challenge for us. Uh, so the biggest challenge is that we're seeing a lot of our communication service providers having today is the cultural change within their business to transform from being a traditional telecommunication connectivity business to becoming a digital service provider and that digital disruption is actually means for them a complete change in processes a complete change in the way that they want to build things how they contribute things uh, getting used to and, and contributing in, in in our world from an open source perspective it's a complete change to the way that they currently go about their business and the staff and the people that they attract to their businesses they move forward. I think from our point of view as we're finding, I mean on the one hand we're transforming ourselves very much over to more of a software company, so we're, we're not just softwareizing the network, we're softwareizing our company as a whole, the people, the skill set, the culture, 
Um, and I think that's driving a complete change all the way through. Um, and certainly telcos traditionally are not used to doing that. And yet our competitors are the ones that are the software companies, they're the OTT players, they're the ones that actually w work in a very agile way. And so we ourselves are also having to transform ourselves to become that much more agile. So those are the interesting challenges. It's not about technology, it's about people and culture. The biggest challenges for, let's call them telcos, changing to become digital service providers is the culture across the whole of the organization is breaking down those silos, organizational silos, and in some cases technology silos, and also the mentality that the tel telecom is at the center of everything. The ecosystem just doesn't work in that way. And telcos must be prepared to work with other parties, sometimes subordinate to those other parties, perhaps other times as the prime contractor. But it's that different business approach that's required is the biggest transformation because they've, they've been accustomed to be the big fish in a relatively small pond. They're now fish in the big sea. They need to play with everybody else. They need to understand the way in which things work in that broader ecosystem. Well, I think it's certainly not the technology. I think it's really about re-engineering your business processes for a digital world. And I think this is something that CSPs can also trade with their customers because we have to remember that our customers are digitising for the first time as well, whereas the CSP tends to have done it multiple times. So I think there's a real opportunity for us to work with our customers to help them digitise their business and actually get the benefits out of automation, AI and IoT.